All right, what's happening, y'all? It's your boy Rico from Street Scores, and I'm coming with a Jahan Dotson initial breakdown. I'm also going to be coming out with a film session as well, of course. I may even just do like a live reaction to a highlight tape too. Um, and, and we're just going to do a complete breakdown of why we took him, whether I like the pick or not. Was it a reach? Was it a steal? How he'll fit on the roster? And as far as like why we took him, how do Ron Rivera and Martin Mayhew feel about him? They've already had a press conference talking about him. So we're going to dive into all of that. But before we do, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell next to the subscription button so you get a notification immediately. And every time I release an informative and opinionated video just like this one. Shouts out to everybody that pulled up to the first round live stream tonight. And I will be live streaming rounds two and three with Shayi tomorrow. So make sure y'all pull up for that as well. Again, we're analyzing every pick, not just the Washington Commander. So if you want full blown draft coverage on all the players and the sleepers and and how we feel about every pick, whether it's a good fit or not, make sure y'all pull up to all of that. I will be live streaming Saturday as well. At the very least, round four, I may live stream round five, but we'll see. And also, man, if you're not a channel member, code become one because I will be doing raw and edited film sessions on every player. I'll do some official real film sessions that I edit and organize and give that out to the general public, maybe like a couple of them. But like even the undraft the free agents we bring in, I'm going to do raw and edited film sessions, even if I just got to react to a highlight tape so make sure y'all go become channel members if you have it and without further ado let's get it All right, so Jahan Doxon. Um, first of all, I mean, the funniest way to put it is just, first of all, Jay Doxon, Ja Doxon, almost sounds like Josh Doxon. So that that's scary, of course, that, there's that. I mean, but they're two completely different players. So, I, I mean, of course, I had to talk about that and how funny that comparison is. Uh, <laughs> people out here thinking that Josh Doxon basically put on the glasses with the nose and the mustache and, and changed his name around a little bit and tried to get back into the NFL. But nah, it's a completely different player, completely different play style and all of that. So I, I thought that was funny. Also, I think it's really interesting because Penn State wise, I really wanted Micah Parsons in the first round last year we didn't get him now we get penn state wide receiver Jahan dotson this year and i just feel like we did that backwards but overall before we dive into all of the details and stuff just to give my personal opinion overall i think it's a good player but i also think it's a reach i think we definitely could have gotten him later i guess the washington commanders felt like it wasn't worth trading back and chancing him um you know making it past like if we trade back again we already traded back from 11 to 16 and i guess they felt like it wasn't worth trading back into like the 20s and risking him staying there and still being there i would have done it because i'm not that high on him and i i personally would have preferred to take daxton hill even with that pick but we could have clearly have traded back into the 20s and still got daxton hill so and y'all know me i like george pickens more straight up again even just the same pick i prefer jahan dotson but again he is a good player and he's comes with a really high floor so i mean there's really no worries here he doesn't come with an injury history he's as clean as it gets and so like you know what you're getting and there's a little bit of a ceiling here and we're going to talk about that because i mean i guess you could argue deshaun jackson as a ceiling if he's if he ever reaches this potential but at the same time even if you look at his res score first of all he ran a 443 and for somebody his size you would expect him to run faster than that but that's still pretty fast that's still good speed but it's just not what you would hope and then he had a 7283 cone which was really bad he didn't even do the shuttle and he had a 36 inch vert which is cool for his size he had a 1001 broad jump which is cool for his size but not great so really the only thing going for him traits wise are you could argue he has the best hands in the draft some people feels like he literally has the best hands in the draft i'm not gonna go that far yet but we'll see especially when i watch some more film on him maybe i'll agree with that also he's one of the better crisper high floor route runners already in the draft as well i mean he's kind of in that same group with chris olave and these guys that i mean the route running is already crisp as he enters the nfl so that's where that high floor comes from you don't have to worry about him he's kind of small 178 pounds but again that's where the deshaun jackson comparison comes from but at the same time he plays bigger than his size he definitely plays bigger than 178 
and, and and I thought it was really interesting because Ron Rivera has this reputation of drafting big receivers, I guess. I don't exactly know where that comes from because, I mean, P. Haley pointed out the fact that of the 11 receivers that Ron Rivera has now drafted as an NFL head coach, Jahan Dotson is the eighth one who's six foot zero or shorter. And he's pretty much like 5'11". He's right there, right under the six feet. So there you go. If you really think about it, he's pretty much two inches shorter than Chris Olave and Terry McLaurin but he's not super small but he is 5'11 and we just kind of I mean it seems like we just have so many of the same guys which is the reason I didn't really really want Chris Olave like with Terry McLaurin Curtis Samuel kind of ish Deami Brown especially it seems like we just have a bunch of average height quick deep threat type of guys great route running type of guys kind of with Deami Brown working on his route running so um I, I just I don't love the pick I like the player. I just hate when we took him. I felt like we could have gotten him at 47, to be completely honest. Or if you trade back again and maybe get him in the 20s. I just think at 16, it was a little crazy. I mean, the fact that we traded back with Kyle Hamilton and Jamison Williams there, literally my two favorite players in the draft outside of Malik Willis. And he even he's still available right now. Um, and then I love Daxton Hill as well. And so the fact that we had the chance to get all of those guys and we traded back, and then we missed out on Kyle Hamilton and Jameis Williams because of that. And then you still have Daxton Hill. You still have George Pickens. You have Christian Watson with a crazy ceiling. You just have so many of these guys still out there. And you take Jahan Dotson at 16. Again, good player. I think the draft pick was just too high. I think it was a reach there. But at the end of the day, if he goes out there and balls out, you don't really care when you got him. Like, I mean, at the end of the day, nobody looks back and it's like, man, I wish you would have taken that great player later. You know what I'm saying? Of course, right now, just value-wise, it would be nice to have gotten them later and you could have taken another player earlier in the draft so that your draft would be better in a deeper draft. You would have more potential star players. But I mean, at the end of the day, if he goes out and balls out, we're not gonna really worry about him being drafted at 16 but again i am definitely in the boat of the people that feels like he was a reach at 16 because again i even prefer straight up george pickens over Jahan Doxon at the same pick let alone you can get george pickens later than you got Jahan Doxon. and so i mean that's just how that goes though man it, it is what it is and it's far and it's really funny too because he was even surprised that he got drafted by us he had no idea he was gonna go 16th overall anywhere near as high as he went he even said he was watching the Pelican Suns game and got a call and was like, wait, really? Like me? Y'all are taking me with the 16th overall pick. He wasn't even watching the draft of repair. He didn't have his family around and all that type of stuff. He wasn't even able to really enjoy the moment because he didn't even know he was going to get drafted there. He didn't. Us as fans didn't. Uh, and I don't think a lot of other NFL teams were that high on him. So I don't think they did either. I definitely think we could have gotten them later. But again, if he ends up balling out, we're not going to worry about when we got him. I mean, if for some odd reason he ends up actually being Deshaun Jackson, we're not going to worry about him being... Because Deshaun Jackson at pick 16 is a steal. But it's just the problem is, is he going to be Deshaun Jackson or is he just going to be diet Deshaun Jackson and somebody we could have gotten later and could have addressed another need before we got him or could have traded back and got more picks. I do like the fact that now we have, I believe, two third round picks, a fourth round pick, or is it one third and two fourths? But we definitely added some more picks. So I'm happy about that. I, I was quite happy about that then again i just wanted to go ahead and get my boy kyle hamilton so we wouldn't have to worry about losing them then we lost them the ravens have kyle hamilton and marcus williams that's ridiculous i believe they drafted tyler Linderbaum too that's ridiculous so yeah we have the 98th overall pick in the third round so we have one third round pick and two fourths now the 113th and the 120th so we're gonna be pretty active tomorrow we have three picks tomorrow again i will be live streaming rounds two and three so we'll be active with 47 and 98 and then day three the first round of day three round four we have the 113th and the 120th picks in the fourth round so i'll definitely stream through the fourth round probably all the way through the end maybe up to our pick now probably a little bit later than that but as of right now we don't have a fifth round pick so i don't know if i'll stick around after that but we may acquire one 
and so then i'll continue to stream that it's just depending on how things go maybe i'll stream all the way through the seventh round i'm not sure but i mean again it is nice that after trading for carson Wentz, we finally have a third round pick this draft and a really deep draft again like i've been saying you can argue whether or not it's the deepest draft quality wise but quantity wise is for sure the deepest draft in nfl history just draft player pool wise a lot of guys because of the pandemic should have gone to last year's draft waited another year and are going out in this draft so guys that normally would go in the second round in a normal draft setting are probably going in the third round this year that's why so many good players are sliding and that's another reason why i just feel like we could have waited to get this guy because it was a really deep draft even at receiver you could argue christian watson especially with this ceiling is a better pick than jahan dotson but we'll see man we'll, we'll definitely see again my main problem is the fact that we kyle hamilton and jamison williams was there jamison williams is my favorite receiver in this draft it's not even close and i i'm one of the people that really wanted kyle hamilton so that's the really the part that hurts if kyle hamilton and jamison williams never existed and we ended up getting jahan dotson i would be nowhere near as upset with the pick i still feel like it's a reach but the main reason reason number one why i don't like this pick is because we traded back from getting kyle hamilton and jamison williams to take this guy but other than that again if jamison williams and kyle hamilton didn't exist this pick wouldn't be as bad to me but i still do feel like it's a reach and then to make everything worse the giants killed their five and seventh picks with Thibodeau and Evan Neal and then you got the Eagles trading for AJ Brown and I mean I think on the surface that's a great situation for them but is even going to stay healthy but either way they're being aggressive and getting playmakers and they drafted my dog Jordan Davis so now I got to deal with Jordan Davis versus Wes Schweitzer twice this year so that definitely scares me even though I do like Wes Schweitzer but boy can we please make sure we re-sign Eric Flowers after the draft for cheap please bring him back and at this point if we don't address the buffalo nickel by getting like a petri or a nick cross or something like that we're gonna have to try to bring back landon collins for cheap too but i think it's really interesting because it's been reported soon after we took jahan dotson that we were heavily interested in him from the very beginning and he was one of our players at towards the top of our board now they said they won't specify exactly where he was on our board but receiver wise he was one of our favorite options so they were ecstatic to be able to trade back and still get him they feel like it's a home run draft draft pick according to martin mayhew and ron Rivera. again i'm nowhere near as high on him as them but i do think he's a good player but again still a reach in my opinion martin mayhew said that the team traded down because they wanted more picks in the middle rounds and they still felt like Jahan Doxson has tremendous ball skills ron Rivera and martin mayhew said there's so much value in the middle of the draft that trading down was a priority so i mean i guess Jahan Doxson was pretty much more so the wrapping on the present the real goal was to trade down and then Jahan Dotson being there at 16 I guess they just felt like that was a home run hit and then on Jahan Dotson Martin Mayhew said he's got good speed and he's super competitive tremendous ball skills and adds punt return ability and that's another thing the reason why I, I again I don't hate this pick I also don't love it but like it, it adds value to the fact that Jahan Dotson will probably be our primary returner because i mean granted terry mclaurin is your number one receiver and i feel like this draft pick doesn't affect anything with terry mclaurin as far as the contract situation goes so let me go ahead and get that out the way but since he's not your wide receiver one you're not afraid to play him in the punt return and kick return game so he's basically gonna come in and just be a better deandre carter that, that i mean that's essentially what they're hoping for again i'm not sure if he'll literally be deshaun jackson but hey man if he turns out to be that then that will be a great pick ron rivera said that Jahan dotson reminds him of steve smith and deshaun jackson guys who play bigger than they are and i mean that's what those two guys did but we got to see if Jahan dotson does that ron rivera and daniel jeremiah have now said that Jahan dotson reminds them of deshaun jackson so daniel jeremiah feels the same way Ron Rivera said that they had Jahan Donson highly rated, but we're not getting a number. Again, they won't tell us exactly where on the board. Offensive staff really liked him, quote, very confident in his ability to learn and grow, unquote. So it wasn't just one guy. There were a lot of guys, probably including Scott Turner, that are in that organization, front office and coaching wise, that really like him. So for some reason, we were higher on him than most teams, and I hope it works out. And then what's also really, really interesting 
is that it was reported that after trading with the Saints to move back to 16, the Commanders GM Martin Mayhew said that they could have moved back again in the first round if they wanted to. There was interest. Apparently, according to Martin Mayhew, there were, they had three teams on the phone talking about, can y'all trade back with us? Can y'all trade back again? So apparently they like Jahan Dotson so much that they weren't willing to trade back a second time so that they can go get him. And we could have ended up with more mid-round picks, which I thought the priority was. But hey, I mean, clearly they love this guy. And I felt like even with quarterback, even though Malik Willis is my favorite, if they clearly, truly love a guy and they take that guy, then I'm behind it. So it's kind of the same thing with Jahan Dotson. With the fact that they could have traded back and got even more picks and would have still been in the first round to get a guy, the fact that they declined to do that because they love Jahan Dotson that much makes me confident that he will work out because apparently they've done all the research in and out on him. And if they truly believe in him, they're going to design the offense to get the most out of him. So I'm behind it for that reason. But again, I just felt like why not take that trade back and hope he's there because I think I'm almost sure he would have been there because I don't think too many other teams like them that much and now we'll see what happens tomorrow because I honestly think Carson Strong is an option with that one third round pick or maybe one of those fourths we'll see don't be surprised if it's a running back or a Carson Strong we'll see but yeah man that's the end of this video please get in the comment section let me know how you feel about everything discussed in this video please like it if you learned anything if you liked it let me know in the comment section how you feel about this pick the player and when we got them because those are two separate things that you need to analyze and break down like i did in this video so please get in the comment section let me know how you feel about all of that and of course man i appreciate all the support man shouts out to everybody that pulled up to the stream a big shout out to everybody that donated to the stream man again i will be live streaming rounds two and three tomorrow and round four at the very least on saturday so make sure y'all pull up for those live streams as well and i will be getting film sessions to y'all especially for my channel members y'all will get all of them every player we bring in even including the draft the free agents again if i have to watch and react to a lot of highlight tape i will whatever i gotta do to just get something out there for each of those guys so go become a channel member if you haven't and speaking of channel members shouts out to all of my sponsors especially my pro bowl sponsors whose name you see scrolling the screen right now I and mean, i really appreciate y'all catch y'all later i'm out